I'm glad you're here. Coach Deb is ready for today's Diva Dialogue. Here she is. Yay, I did it right this time. It's Coach Deb, and boy, is it Monday. Hoo-wee. Monday always kind of surprises me how quickly it sneaks up. Does it do that to you? I mean, it comes every week. I don't know why it surprises me, but it does. So, um, happy Monday to you, and welcome to Diva Dialogue. You know, sometimes we're so lucky when we meet people that we just uh, seem to get along with, that we sync up right away. And I feel this way about my next guest, uh, Kelly Party. I haven't met her husband yet, but I'm looking forward to meeting him as well. Uh, they are my guests, and we'll be calling in shortly. But in the meantime, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, today. Today is my birthday, and every year I I focus on what I want that year to be for me, what how I want it to feel, what I want to accomplish, um, just what I want to do, all all different kinds of things, and. So this morning, that's what I did. I sat down with my journal, and I decided for now on that every every year on my birthday, I'm going to start a brand new journal. I think that would be really fun. So that is what I am going to do for now on. I have to let them know, if you'll excuse me a minute. I'm going to keep talking, though. But if I'm kind of like, um, yeah, my Gmail is not, is not opening, Kelly. So give me a second here. So, um. So I I don't know, that seems like a really good practice for me to get into, is uh, to start a new journal every, every year on my birthday. And so I'll do, I will do that for now on. Um, And write down everything I want to accomplish, everything that is important to me to get done that year, and maybe reflect on what happened the year before. It seems less hectic to do it now than it would be the first of the year because there's too much going on right then. So there we go. Okay. All right. Now we're good. So, I and I think that's a really good practice to get into, and I'm I'm kind of looking forward to doing it, actually. So, I just started a new one, like, a few days ago, so it'll work out perfectly for me to do it this year. I th- and I think it's a good idea, so I suggest that on your birthday, your next birthday, that you try it and see how it works for you. Okay? It's just a suggestion. So I was friends with um, Kelly and Ool Party on Facebook for quite a while, and I was really interested in what they were doing, so I was watching it. Um, I, was, I was watching them. Um, I was watching what they were doing and, you know, they do drum meditations and I'm going to pause this a minute because I have to get in touch with them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Everything's all set and we're all together. So welcome to Diva Dialogue, Wool and Kelly Party. Hello. Hello. (laughs) 
It's Monday, and usually I don't have any any problems on Mondays. are always smooth sailing, but for some reason I was having trouble with the phone line to the studio and also getting online with my phone to tell you to call back. (laughs) <laughs> oh right. Well, we just kept hitting redial. So good. <laughs> ah, so welcome to Monday. So I was telling everybody how fun it was when we met Kelly. Yes, absolutely. It was one of those obviously meant to happen things. Uh huh. So uh, how long do you think we had been communicating back and forth on Facebook? Like about a year, um, I bet. I'm not sure now. I know it was shortly after our wedding, which was in June, that, or maybe it was before that, actually. It was because I knew about the wedding, so I was, well, I was watching the drum meditations and where you were going to be trying to catch one for quite a while before that. So. That's right, that's right. Yeah, and then it kind of just back and forth, um, you'd call me and then I'd get busy or couldn't answer and vice versa. Yeah, so it was funny. But then finally the timing was right, but the universe took care of it. <laughs> Absolutely. So Well, and I had actually thought that you were someone else. Oh. Um, because we'd, we'd met a woman at one of our retreats that we do, and for some reason in my head, that was you. Oh, so, isn't that funny? So then when when we actually met that day, I was like, oh, my gosh, this isn't even who I thought I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, I love that. So obviously, we, the universe wanted us to, to meet. So. Yes. Yeah, and I didn't expect to see you there either. So it was at the Women to Women conference this year, and they did it a little bit differently. And it was it was pretty good. Did you like it? I did, actually. Interestingly, they had, I work for Catholic Charities when I'm not doing drumming, and um, they had contacted us, uh, well, they contacted Strong Heart Drum Medicine, because they were thinking about possibly doing a drumming as the open ceremonies. Um, And as it turns out, they couldn't do that, but then about two weeks later at work, they said, we need you to go to this event. (laughs) And I'm like, how strange is that? So... I was definitely meant to be there. Um, And I actually um, really, really found all of the speakers there really inspiring. All of their stories really touched me. And what I found really, really interesting is that every woman that I heard talk mentioned some form of meditation Uh in her as as an important part of, you know, your daily routine. Yes, that amazed me as well. And I'll tell you, the truth is the truth. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. So we're on to something, which brings us (laughs) to the type of meditation that you guys lead. Hi, Ool. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. So let's talk a little bit about, first of all, your background and um, both of you, talk, you know, however you want, tell the story however you want to. How on earth did you get into this, and um, why do you do it, and what does it do for us? Those are a lot of questions. <laughs> I'll let Will feel the how do we get into it. Well, in the late 90s, I broke down and purchased my two native drums. One was Alaska fire drum and the other was Sioux ceremonial drum. I, I bought the biggest ones they made at that time. So it's 24 inch Alaska fire drum and uh, 20, 26 inch uh, Sioux ceremonial drum. But I really wanted to play them and join a drum circle and join, join a drive, so to speak. But I, I was busy with my tasks and jobs and lifestyle so and i was shy too but it took me years of silent conversation with these drums and growing up together in a way and growing together and my my spiritual path took a turn towards more action and i started using those drums only uh, four four and a half years ago doing uh, meditation and drum journeys and shamanic journeys with, with those two drums and then it I made more drums myself, and I've been 
evolution of getting involved and doing doing things for people that that they invite me and invite me and Kelly to since we met a year and a half ago we've been slowly doing them together so yeah so we um i had been living on the west side of the state and all had started doing things on its own already and my sister-in-law um i moved back to owasso where my parents live and i my sister-in-law one day said hey come to this event with me it sounds like it's something that's right up your alley so i did and I kind of sat there as he's, you know, he's got a fairly elaborate drum set, not focusing on meditation, but trying to figure out which woman in the room was his girlfriend. And <laughs> when <laughs> I think he's pretty cute. <laughs> and obviously from there it was history. And, um, and then slowly we, we started doing it together and, and now we do seminars together before we do the, the actual meditation. That's, that's, kind, of, that's of kind of funny, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> did he have a? He didn't have a girlfriend there with him. No, he didn't. Okay. Didn't. Um, Shoo! What a lucky yeah. break, Ool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, my first thought about him was, I wonder which lucky woman gets to go home with him. Huh, isn't that funny? Uh, and now that lucky woman is you. Yeah, and now I'm his wife. So. <laughs> I love that. That's very charming. So it's so cool, Ool, how cool, yeah. Ool. It's so cool that how you just knew that that's what you were supposed to do. It it didn't take you long to figure it out either, did it? No, it's just I, I decided to become more connected with the spirit world and my purpose and to be more involved in the physical, bringing the physical and the spiritual together with using drums as musical instruments are doorways to the spirit world. And each time we use them, it opens doors. And so I say each strike of a drum opens the door. So there are endless possibilities during a during our drumming sessions for people to connect, power themselves with with joy and uh, fulfillment and, and messages. Basically, connection with the spirit world brings you in tune and into harmony and balance and with a sense of fulfillment and completion. So it gives me energy to do that. Mm-hmm. Do that. And we always travel together. It's a... The set of instruments we use takes an hour to build, an hour to back together wow. again after the session. But it's, it's, I call it a ship because it takes, on, takes us on a journey, and we use solfeggio chimes, tubular bells, drums, shakers, and uh, a Peruvian rain stick, and a flute, and a gong. So there's, there's quite a few instruments we use for, for that one-hour sound journey. To give us, to give us a sense of connection and travel and mm-hmm. and peace and uh, it's kind of a classic story of follow what your heart has passion for and what you love, mm-hmm. and it will lead you to so many more things right. and so much more than you ever expected it would. Right, and I I know music is often referred to as the universal language, and that is so true, isn't it? So many of our memories are are um, ignited by hearing a song. Yes, so absolutely. it only well, makes music, sense. It's really interesting. We had a a instance this summer that highlights that perfectly um, because we had gone up north to do a drumming at an event near Traverse City. And we were out to dinner, and we were in this restaurant that was playing sort of classic late 80s and 90s music. And without even paying attention to the music per se, you know, we went in, we sat down, we ordered our food. Next thing you know, we're talking about memories from high school. Uh huh. Because that would have been when we were in high school. And, you know, we were sharing, we didn't go to school together, obviously, all from a different country altogether. So, um, 
so we were just kind of sharing those stories. And then all of a sudden, it 